the Hudson photo. It's on our milk jugs. It's on a giant billboard outside our newest location in Tyler. It's iconic to our brand. And the chance encounter with the photographer who took it is too good a story not to tell. It actually looks as though it was all staged and it was a setting and that it was planful and those types of things and it was none of the above. And this was the time before the, uh, Trenton uh, came on board and before Ryan, of course, came on board uh, with me to help me. And so I was by myself. I would milk the cows in the morning and I would, early in the morning, and I would make the products in the evening. I would bottle the milk right after I milked the cows. I would clean up the area and the space because it was just next door to the, to the, to where we, the little store was. And I would run in the house and get cleaned up and I would transform into this from this milkmaid into, and I wanted to be very presentable. If you, you know, recall, I had just left the university. So I was accustomed to really dressing up. It was a cold day and I had the barn doors closed off and I was by myself. And there was a man that came to the door. So he started telling me that he was a reporter for a small magazine of East Texas. And he would drive the country roads. He would just be driving the country roads and he would see a place of interest. Well, there was a sign on the highway that said, your raw milk dairy store. He said, well, would you mind if I took some pictures? And I said, of course not. Well, I thought he meant of the milk and of the products or something like that. And he said, no. I, want to, I really want to take a picture of you and the cows. And I said, oh, okay, sure. And so I, I said, and at that time I didn't have very many cows. Remember, I only started with five. And so I just walked out in the pasture and my cows were so accustomed to me because I hand milked them every morning. They would just come up to me when I walked out into the pasture. He started taking pictures. He, when he finishes, we, we take the pictures very quickly. We go back in and he said, I'll send you a picture one day. He said, but I'm very, very disappointed in the pictures that I took. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. What were you looking for? And he said, I wanted to capture your soul. And I don't know that I could can. And he left again. I never saw him. I've never seen him since. He sent, he emailed that picture to me. And when I saw it, to me, it was perfect because it had my girls around me and I was looking at them because they're the ones that I'm so humbled by and I have such respect for. I truly have respect for the animals and for what they provide for us. And if you will notice, the one picture that I have of myself with a calf of daddies, I'm beside two siblings. The two siblings are looking at the camera and I couldn't get my eyes off of that baby calf. It was the calf that I wanted to really be connected with and see. The part I love about that from a personal standpoint, that picture, is that it, it, is, it truly represents how genuine and authentic and real that we are here on the farm and that it's very much God-led and God-inspired and that's how it works. 